Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to study how to get a single matrix for successive transformations. Yesterday we learned that when an object undergoes through successive transformations written in a certain order, then they are performed starting with the one on the right hand side followed by the one on the left hand side. For example, we are told that uh, a triangle with these vertices undergoes transformation PQ. This means P and Q written in this order. Q is performed first, then followed by P. Therefore, instead of performing Q, then we perform P on this object. We can find a single matrix which will represent those matrices and the single matrix is found by the product hmm? the product of P and Q in that order gives us a single transformation that represents PQ so we will have negative 1 0 0 1 then 1 0 0 negative 1 when multiplied the two matrices will give us a single matrix of transformation that will represent the successive transformations so negative 1 by 1 0 by 0 we get negative 1 negative 1 by 0 0 by negative 1 get a 0 then here we'll have a 0 and this one is also a 0 and finally 0 by 0 and 1 by negative 1 we get a negative 1 at that point. Therefore, this matrix now represents the successive transformations PQ. And now we can take the column vectors. We can first of all write the matrix of transformation. Then now the column vectors of coordinate A, which is 1, 2, 3, 2 for B, and 3, 5 for C. Now multiplying this object with the product of the two matrices, will give us the answer we would have gotten if we transformed starting with Q followed by P. This is negative 1 plus 0, we get negative 1. This is negative 3 plus 0, we get negative 3. This is negative 3 by 0, negative 3. This one is 0, negative 2. This one is 0, this is negative 2. This one is 0. This one is negative 5. Therefore, from that answer matrix, we can extract the coordinates of A at negative 1, negative 2. The coordinates of B at negative 3, negative 2. And finally, the coordinates of C prime at negative 3, negative 5. So this is the answer we get in case we perform the transformation successively. So when we are finding a single matrix for a certain successive transformations, we simply get the product of the two matrices involved in the successive transformations. Thank you for following. Subscribe to this channel and share the link.